Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Santos Room. Today we're going to take a look at iSymphonic 2. Uh, so this is a pre-release. This is coming very, very soon now. Um, so this is almost the version that will be released. A couple of little tweaks here and there, but basically this is the thing. So, uh, yeah, you can do some very, very cool stuff with this now. Uh, it's uh, different from the, the other versions. Uh, most notably, for me anyway, as I like to select the presets, is the new preset browser now this covers when you uh, install even the basic version all these will be there you won't be able to play them all obviously unless they're installed but you will be able to see if it's not if it's not installed say i haven't got the organ set installed because i like to uninstall install uninstall because it's such a huge a huge uh, <clears throat> app in in file size wise you don't need to keep them on there just download them when you need them you know um so if we go up up anything that says not installed obviously is not installed uh but the quarter pack is installed and that is what is playing at the moment also along the top here you will see various various things like uh status you can show installed only and that will just give the ones that are installed okay so let's leave it on that then we have here uh instruments solo or exclusive then attributions we can choose from different the you know different articulations so you just if you just wanted pizzicato it would filter those out the, the ones that i've got installed sort of things or roll there obviously aren't any there um and you can see that they're slightly grayed out as well some of them but uh yeah so you can see so select it now um tremolo a couple of tremolos in there and then also we have uh ratings you can use users now can rate the sounds okay so and then we ha it's very difficult for me to see this keywords you can choose uh to search by keyword so say we put slow for instance there you go so it's all very very cool beans this new this new way to select your sounds it's much easier it's much more straightforward and like you know once you've selected your sound it's installed you just tap on it and there you go also another cool thing now is the ability to save the entire state of the app within the app so like you've got 16 parts here that you can set up for instance this first part part one strings here is classic orchestra 2 and it sounds like this in the quarter pack it's very nice very nice And then in part two here, I have reeds and strings. Just let me change my, because I've got this on MIDI channel, so I'll just change the channel on the keyboard. However, what we can do, so we go back to, I can swap around uh, the MIDI channels on the keyboard, but it won't change the screen, obviously, you know, you need to see what part you're working on sort of thing. Again, you can change by swiping to the next sound. So that's another way to choose your sounds, obviously. Also, now it allows you to save. Like I said, it save, allows you to save the entire state of the of the of the thing. So actually, let's set up a new one. 
okay let's go to let's go to our browser here let's see I obviously have some of these installed so we'll choose this one and let it uh And let's choose one for part two. Let's choose you a new large R choir. Large R. Sorry, I had to swap my uh, controller. Because bearing in mind, you'll swap your MIDI channels as well, obviously. Turn the volume up a little bit for that one. And furthermore, for part three, let's choose a. Um, oh, a synth, let's, oh, let's choose a Celtic harp. And it's good now because I've got this. Uh, my point being here, because I've got this selected to installed, everything here is 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 installed. So. That's good old. And that was big three, wouldn't it? This is without a doubt the most complete orchestral app. I this it's a beautiful thing. Anyway, anyway, so now we've done this, we've got our three parts that we want to set up. Other parts are assigned, by the way, but they'll be. Uh, what part was that part? Eight. And part one was uh, our choir and strings. So now we've got that, we can go here and we can just go plus here. And we can go, we, <laughs> this is a weird thing, right? You can't type it in, but you can draw the title in. So <laughs> choir, now, now this is, I guess they're thinking this is very cool if you've got the pen. You know, you're using it on a on a pro something. Quiet and ST, and then you can choose your etc etc for stuff like this. Then we can choose a background color. Let's choose this nice blue here, and then we can just save, and it will be there. So if I go back now to now, this is another thing as well. Let's go to Strange here. This is one I set up earlier. Movie orchestra. Now you listen here when I play C. If I play other, it's gonna sound it's gonna sound kind of Eastern, Asian Arabic. -y. So I just went over to part two there, which is a solo violin. Now you can see, you can hear that sounding a bit off. Okay, so I'll show you why. I set it up like that anyway. But however, the tuning in I Symphonic is is incredible. You know, it's like in also in the. Uh, Colossus Grand and 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 uh, Christian's other apps. The, the tune is amazing, but people sometimes don't don't they think it sounds off, you know? But it'll be because the way that the tuning is set up. So if you go to tuning here, if I now go to like this is let me just save this preset for a kickoff. Let me save this as a uh, as strange uh, because that is my. So you can see now straight away, I can choose my own tunings, okay? Now, if I just go to um, 
natural scale static constant equal temperaments no 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 alterations and we can just do this now you'll see that it's completely great it's it all in tune properly So this is how you can set your own tuning up and they've included more tunings now. Okay, so you can see that the, 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 the remote tuning is kind of like if you built a piano hundreds of years ago, the tuning was all, it all slightly changed and everything was slightly off. And you can, you can see that it's... Right, you see? It changes as I play. And some people think, well, that's why it sounds slightly out of tune. And that probably is why it sounds slightly out of tune. Now, you have a master tuning here and a tuning intensity. That's something for you to get into when you get the app or if you've already got the app sort of thing. But now you see they've added more more tunings. And you can see how, how, how wild this ear is going to sound now. So you, if you understand microtonal tuning and you want to do something that's of, of, an, of another scale or another... So Western music is pretty much all equal temperament. And then you want to go to um, music from a, a, Asia or India or any anywhere like this, you know. Well, Asia is it, but, you know. This is the, this is the point of uh, the, the tuning here. And the fact that you can you can now choose your own wild tuning. I mean, this is going to sound off its head, isn't it? You know, so. But you could, of course you know save that if you wanted to but for the sake of this we'll just go back to our strange where other than the c there was a very slight adjustment i made so there you go. So that's done. So that's basically a look. There are other other uh, Im improvements as well. General general improvements to all sorts of things. But they're the kind of major things, the major things that you have uh, that have changed for I, I, I Symphonic 2. It's still a marvellous, marvellous thing, which I, I love dearly. As, as most people know, I'm a big fan. I'm a big, 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 big fan. So, yeah, let's see. That's basically it, guys. That's all I wanted to show you for this for this video. Uh, I didn't want to get too much into the uh, into the demos of the sounds and stuff, you know. But uh, you know, and you will see that let's see we could just choose that. can also set the, the the velocity curve as well only I never touched that this is your MIDI import place so yeah basically that's it guys so uh, yeah thank you for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up this will be out very very soon uh, can uh, please subscribe to the channel consider becoming a patreon uh, all those cool cool bean things 
Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Awesome. iSymphonic 2 coming soon to an iPad near you.